Jesus said to his disciples, The kingdom of God is like a treasure hidden in a field, which one found and covered up. Then in their joy, they go and sell all that they have and buy the field. The kingdom of God is like a merchant in search of fine pearls, who on finding one pearl of great price, went and sold all that they had and bought it. Anne Osdick says it well for me in her poem. What is the pearl of great price? A Mercedes, a portfolio, an oil well, honor and praise and awards, kingship over everything we survey? Or could it be, could it be no walls, all people's brothers and sisters, clean air, water, and food for everyone, neighbor serving neighbor, dinner with friends, a kind word, finding God in all things, O oh Lord, give us the wisdom to know the real treasure. To know real treasure has given me a while to embrace. Over the 50 years, I heard the call of God to follow in this way of life 50 years ago. A life at first that I did not want. But I had a God far more persistent a God who pursued me. The deeper truth is that God had my heart from the time I was in junior high. Truly the call of my God has been graced, graced with love, joy, and spirit. I've known a God of great forgiveness, a God of expansion, expanding my heart to embrace men and women of all faiths, cultures, gender identities, and political persuasion. Now, not that it's been easy, but the deeper part of me has known peace when I listen to the heart of our loving God. As we hear in the second reading, all things work unto the good for those who love God. God has done a work in me. God has done a work in us and continues to do that work. May our deepest longing be for God and God alone. May we become a holy people. As Jay Janda says in her poem, in our deepest selves, if we enter there, we may discover a peace and a goodness, a gentleness and a hope. Christ is our deepest selves, and we may discover a desire far more inter interior than we realize, that what we want is to do God's will, and that this desire is all that can we really know or be sure of about ourselves. Yet, it is enough. It is a grace. <laughs>